Now we're learning more about how the pandemic is impacting the military. More than 235,000 uniformed and civilian personnel have tested positive. 21 people have died, including the USS Wasp sailor last week. Today, lawmakers sought clarity on how the branches are coping with the virus now and moving forward. Here's Mike Gooding. The Navy and all the branches of the U.S. Armed Forces have been hit hard by the coronavirus pandemic over the last 11 months. Over the past year, uh, nearly 200 Navy ships have suffered outbreaks, which in some cases disrupted training and operations. Across the services, hundreds of training exercises have been canceled, curtailed or altered. Members of the House Armed Services Committee sought assurances Wednesday from Pentagon leaders on what proactive steps are being taken to protect the troops. The Assistant Secretary of Defense said more than 916,000 vaccines have been administered to uniformed members and civilian employees so far. Since the start, the DOD has protected its people, supported the national response, ensured the readiness of the force to meet its national security missions. Assistant Secretary of Defense Robert Celeste has predicted that it will be sometime in late July, August, before everyone in the military is inoculated. One current challenge is the fact that getting vaccinated is strictly voluntary, and so far there has only been around a 70 percent compliance rate among military personnel. Simply put, military leaders can't force subordinates to get the shots. All they can do is encourage it. It doesn't achieved uh, uh, final FDA approval, uh, and so there's a there's a real limit legally that we have uh, to to make it mandatory for our, our troops and their families. That's why it's a voluntary basis right now. I don't have a timeline on that. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.